shock you right out of the gate. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm a wife, a daughter, mother, vegan, dog lover, math teacher, and I'm also an alcoholic. This past March marks five years of sobriety for me. And it took me a long time to figure out that what No matter what arena I enter, the 12 steps that kept me, that had me put down that first drink also made me a good teacher. People say that the first step is admitting that you have a problem, but I would disagree with that. I would say that the first step is admitting one thing, we are powerless. I asked a group of educators, I bet you could tell me what you were powerless over. But true freedom comes from getting rid of the resentment that we create in ourselves because of that powerlessness. So along with a Twitter colleague, David Coffey, I have come up with 12 steps for educators. Step one, we admitted we were powerless over the elements of education that we could not control. Step two. <laughs> Step two. We came to believe that the positive influences in our lives could restore us to sanity. Step three. We committed ourselves to continuous contact with those positive influences on a regular basis. Step four. We took a fearless and exhaustive inventory of our daily routines as an educator, and writing down what we can control and what we cannot. Step five, and this is the one that is the hardest, we admitted to another human being the exact shortcomings of ourselves. Step six, we are entirely ready to do the work to accept what we cannot change and let go of what we can't change. Step seven, we humbly admit that no matter how hard we work in this profession, we will always have shortcomings. Step eight, we made a list of people that we may have harmed in our quest to control everything. Step nine, we made amends to the people on that list. Step 10, continue to take personal inventory, proceeding fiercely to change what we are able and let go of what we are not. And step 11, we seek improvement through connection with those positive influences on a regular basis. Step 12, we carry this message to other educators in every classroom that we enter. You can start today, right now, at this conference, in this room with these people that fill our glass with passion, inspiration, and clarity in our professional lives. We admit that we are powerless over the fact that Samuel comes from a low-income family. But we can change that he, along with a disproportionate number of students of color, ends up being tracked in the lowest level of math there is. We accept that Patricia has to work every day after school, but we can change that Patricia thinks that she's not a math person. My call to action is not for you to quit drinking. In fact, I would like you to raise your glass for a toast. A toast to being To 
looking educational inequality in the face and proclaiming you're no match for a group of educators determined to change the world and starting with developing the wisdom to differentiate between what you can control and what you cannot. A toast to being the mathematicians, fighters of social justice, dog lovers, plant eaters, and overall human empathizers that we were meant to be. Thank you. <laughs>